Hello, my name is Sergey Lerg, and this is stuff that I do with default theme. I want to show you my game. It's called Hey Boss, and it was made in just three days for the first unofficial default game jam. It is in full 3D. You can walk, you can jump, you can crouch and look out of windows, see that sport car. It's yours. Why? Because you are the boss of this company. But you are a human being too. And today you just feel tired and you want to go home early and watch your favorite TV show. But you have your employees. And if you bump into anyone, you will have to go back to your office to do whatever they want you to do. So, <clears throat> so you have to sneak out carefully. Oh. Okay, this is it. So, uh, how did I make this 3D game in what it is claimed to be as an ultimate engine for 2D games? In fact, it is so ultimate that it can do 3D graphics as well, out of the box. So, let's open main.collection file. Let me show it to you. And uh, can you see anything? No, because it's very, very small. Let's zoom in. And uh, still not much. Let's rotate it a bit. Wow. What we can see here is the ground plane and the skybox. But there's no building, no car, no road, no people. That is because I create them dynamically at runtime. I have a factory game object over here with all the factories and uh, they create different 3D assets. And the assets are located over here. For instance, here is the cabinet file, here is the computer, luxury sports car, a plant and a table. The player is just a collision object with a capsule shape. So in factory script over here I create each object with factory.create function. And uh, as you can see, I'm not putting all the objects by hand in the main collection file. Theoretically, I could do it by hand, but practically it's very tedious and inconvenient. Can you guess what I used instead? Maybe some 3D software like 3ds Max or Blender? No, I've used everyone's favorite tiled map editor. So over here you can see the top view of the ground floor. The tile project I have organized in layers. So each layer is a floor. For instance, the fourth floor is just a roof. <clears throat> And here you can see the first floor. There are no tiles, but there are rectangles. And each rectangle is an asset. So I broke down each asset into the object layers in tiled. So for instance, these are computer, cabinets, plants, road. Here's the car. 
and let's take a look at the third floor where the player starts here is the player and let's move it a bit save export and run the game we can now start from the roof we were standing over there here's the car can we jump yes yay jumping let's go to the car here's how the building looks from outside we won tiled can export into lua files let me show it to you over here and it is just tables within tables within tables interlinked interlinked so in factory.script i load that level data and in a bunch of nested for loops i iterate over each object and call appropriate creation function which in a sense calls factory.create with appropriate parameters as for the camera movement i'm using devos native extension and i'm locking the cursor making it invisible and setting its position to the center of the screen each frame then in the own input message handler i am calculating vertical and horizontal camera angle increments then i'm using these angles to calculate forward movement of the player and uh, the look at vector of the camera then this vector is passed into the render script over here and i'm creating the view matrix based on that along with the perspective projection it gives this first person view experience of the game i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe hit the bell button to get notified when i release the next video about what problems have i encountered while making this game and please support me on patreon with your support i would be able to dedicate more time on making such videos and do stuff for default like native extensions follow me on twitter leave your questions and comments below thank you